Welcome to the Savage Nation, the king of talk radio. That's right, I am now the king. The ratings just came out again. The TSL Top 25 Streaming Talk Shows. And Michael Savage has a 20 share, Rush Limbaugh 12 share, etc. And I'll talk more about that later and what it means. I want to thank you for listening to this show and all the great radio stations that I'm honored to be on, as well as on the Internet, the cloud-based servers, gadgets, iPhones, Android apps, and click, click to listen links on social networks. Remember what I just said. Michael Savage has a 20 share according to TalkStream Live. You have to understand what that means. It means that this show is the most listened to radio show on the Internet. That means mostly younger people are listening to this show on the Internet. That means there's a monster audience out there that understands that Obama is conducting ethnic replacement in the United States of America. And they don't know where to turn to for salvation. The man is bringing in gangs. He's bringing in non-workers. He's bringing in adult illegals posing as children to enroll in high school. The United States of America is under siege. It's an influx that is aimed at ethnic replacement, in my opinion. I know this is a sensitive topic, and I know we're all talking about how this monster can get away with this, how he can go around Congress, go around the Supreme Court, but most importantly, go around the people without being arrested. You heard me. You know, what if you were looking at a banana republic where a president was out of control and he was defying the people's will on a daily basis? There's no country on earth that would tolerate this except this nation of decent Americans where he puts the money in the hands of lawyers and foreign operationals operatives to flood America with illegal aliens. And we sit here like dunces waiting for someone to save the country. And there are, there's no one to save us. No one. We have a dictatorship right in front of our eyes. He's getting away with it. He's laughing in our face. So I want to talk with you about ethnic replacement, the term I created for this show today. We've all heard of ethnic cleansing, haven't we? Every one of you, raise your hands if you know what ethnic cleansing is. Ethnic cleansing occurs when a, an invading military invades a country and to be honest with you, removes a certain ethnicity from a population by either putting them in uh, concentration camps, deporting them, or, or killing them. This was done by Stalin. It was done by Hitler. It's been done by others. Now, Obama is not following that, of course, because he's a very decent man. Instead, he is following in the long, long, long footsteps of those who preceded him with the ethnic replacement uh, that the liberal rulers have put in place in this country for a long time. Let me explain where I'm coming from. One, first there was birth control, aimed primarily at whites, but affecting mainly blacks. Hispanics were generally ignored, or ra rather, excuse me, Hispanics generally ignored the messages of the birth control eugenicists because of religious, cultural, and linguistic reasons. The Hispanics missed that message, and they knew that they would because of their religious, cultural, and linguistic um, reasons. Number two, there was the flooding of drugs, the normalization of random orgiastic sex without children, again generally ignored by the Hispanic population for the same above reasons, religious, cultural, and linguistic. Finally, starting with Clinton, there was the denial of green cards to Europeans who wanted to emigrate. There was the massive issuance of green cards to non-Europeans, and now finally there's the massive flooding of the United States with armies of young Hispanics, fertile Hispanics, by the way, to replace the white or European American. This is ethnic replacement as being practiced by Obama Holder and their gang. Now, you have to ask yourself, where are the moral enforcers of immorality, such as Choice or ZPG or the anti-population growth people? Where are all the loudmouths? Where are all the high priestesses of birth and population control while America is being smothered by the hordes being ushered in from Central America by Obama and Pelosi? The answer, my friends, is these forces of ethnic replacement always intended to diminish the white population 
and replace it with a more malleable third world population. Obama is orchestrating a Malthusian war against the dominant European American population. Obama is now orchestrating a Malthusian war against the dominant European American population. This, my friends, is ethnic replacement. This is one man's opinion. I wrote it this morning on my bicycle. Sometimes my head clears on a bicycle and like little bubbles of clarity pop up in my head and it dawned on me. I said, wait a minute. This is not about anything except a new malleable population that can be controlled by a ruling elite. Now, others are saying things like this. Border agents know what's going on. They know the gangs are using the processing centers as recruitment hubs. We know that the, the TSA, look at the top of Drudge. The TSA, if you're going to fly this weekend, you'll be frisked by a $9 an hour individual. But they're going to allow illegals on planes without ID. Now, what does that mean? Tell me what that means. And why are the churches still able to hold on to their nonprofit status when they are in cahoots with the administration? The churches are violating the separation of church and state. They're violating their 501c3s. And fr frankly, if we had a legitimate government, I would strip the churches who were engaged in this of their 501c3s overnight, and they would stop their behavior. They would stop their perverse behavior. Because this is perverse behavior on the part of churches. Is it not? Is it not perverse of churches to be in cahoots with a government that's violating the Constitution? Well, that's one man's opinion. So, that's the opening of the show. I gave you the new ratings. came out just minutes ago. I got it from Talk Stream Live. They said the TSL Top 25 Streaming Talk Shows Second quarter report for 2014 celebrates a million mark milestone for a single quarter listening session ranking report. Michael Savage again leads the way with a whopping 20 share. Rush remains a strong second, while Laura Ingram surges to third place. And on this, Mark Levin holds a fourth, and Glenn Beck slips to fifth. The TSL Top 25 does not, by the way, record radio station listenership. It's about... Gadgets, iPhones, Androids, click-to-listen links on social networks. So I want to thank you for listening to the show, and there's a reason for it. The reason is pretty clear. The country is under siege by a government that is acting like an enemy. Here is Michelle Obama yesterday to the anti-American LULAC convention, the United Latin American Citizens Convention, promising that her husband would act on his own to fix the immigration system. She stirs up racial hatred and acts as if she's a queen. She then tells the Latinos the following. I want you to listen to what this hate monger said. She said, back then, Latinos were being brutalized and killed by police and lynched by the KKK. No Mexicans allowed, said Michelle. Latinos couldn't own property or serve in a jury. And if you walked into a public building, you'd often see not two water fountains, but three. One white, one black, and one brown. So this is Michelle Obama, instead of uniting people, stirring up hatred between the races before one of the most dangerous organizations in, in America, the LULAC group, and you know who they are. They are supremacists, and they want, if you read their actual code of LULAC, they want to take Sp uh, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, and most of California and connect it to Mexico. And so here we have the first lady stirring up racial hatred, and acting as if she's a queen, and yesterday, and excuse me, and saying that her quote husband, not the president, notice she said my husband, my husband, my husband, he's going to fix the immigration system. Again, acting like rogue, two rogues, king and a queen. The only thing we don't have are the pictures of the shoes in the closet, or you'd see Mich Imelda Marcos in the White House. She makes Imelda Marcos look like a nun in terms of how she abuses this country. She has 72 servants working for her at public expense, yet you're never allowed to see a picture of them or of her. We're living in a dictatorship, a mild one at that to begin with, but it never ends well. Do any of you disagree with my depiction of this invasion from Central America being orchestrated by Obama as ethnic replacement? I mean, it's a simple statement. People write things. People say things. People create things. 
I've created a new phrase that you've never heard before. It's not in the literature. That's what you get for listening to the most creative mind in the history of talk radio. Ethnic replacement. You never heard of it. You heard of ethnic cleansing? We all know what that is. I'll go back again. It's like a classroom. I have to go back again and reiterate because your mind was wandering. You weren't thinking about what I was saying. You said, ah, he's entertaining. What's he talking about today? Let's hear more of that Metallica stuff, Mike. Tell me a meatball recipe. So you are the type that got D's in school, those of you who want to hear the meatball recipes. You were the kids who never really graduated. You couldn't focus on anything a teacher was saying. You waited for the, the dirty joke. You waited for the innuendo. You waited for anything but the facts and the reality because you couldn't focus because you didn't have the brains to focus. So you looked for the humor. That's why you listen to Bill Maher. That's why you listen to Colbert. You're the losers. You're the dropouts of America. They are the jesters to keep you entertained and gold. Your country is being stolen from you, and they are the jesters of ethnic replacement. Make no mistake about it. They're tools of the government. Illegals to get lawyers, schools, and health care. We have no borders. We're not a nation. I've told you a nation is defined by borders, language, and culture. I defined it as that in 1994. We have a president who's laughing while he's doing this to us. And we have no opposition party whatsoever. We have an impotent group of sad sacks on the Republican side. And, of course, we have the billionaires, Buffett, Gates, and Adelson, pushing for amnesty. Now, we know why Adelson, the Las Vegas billionaire, would push for amnesty. He needs busboys and waiters and waitresses and housekeepers in his huge hotel empire. So for him, it's a, it's a no-brainer. Cheap labor. Why would Bill Gates want a massive influx of uneducated individuals from Central America? We know that Bill Gates is a businessman who wants the cheapest possible labor costs, and he therefore wants uh, as many as he can get who are qualified to work in his technology uh, enterprises. But why would he want people who can't even read or write Spanish? Why would he want gangbangers? Why would he want two-year-olds? I don't know. Why would Buffett want them? Why would Warren Buffett want illegal aliens? Where, how does he gain by that? Buffett uh, is diversified in his investments. Big railroad man. That's why they blocked the Keystone XL pipeline. pipeline. His stooge Obama has blocked the Keystone XL pipeline because Buffett brings the oil in from uh, the Canadian tar sands by train. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's why Buffett's in favor of uh, of um, Obama, because Obama did his bidding. He blocked the most sensible thing we, we ever could have had, cheap oil from Canada on, a, on an oil pipeline. This is the savage nation. Do you agree or disagree with me that Obama and Holder are practicing ethnic replacement? It's a simple discussion. I'll be right back. You, you hear some of them. All right. It's soon. Impeach them. Uh, really? Really? For, for, for what? You're going to sue me to do, for doing my job? Okay. 